<laughs> Hello, everyone. This video will go through the story of Assassin's Creed Rogue. In 1752, Sheikh Cormac is an assassin apprentice. One day, he is chasing another assassin in Port Menier, attempting to attack him. But his target dodged attack. The assassin is then revealed to be Liam O'Brien, a friend and a compatriot of the Sheikh's. Their conversation is interrupted by the sound of distant cannon fire. The two assassins reach their camp, where Louis Joseph Gaultier, Chevalier de la Valentie, is waiting for them. After an argument and a fistfight against the Chevalier, she makes his way with them to the British camp. They kill the soldiers and free the smugglers taken prisoner. She claims their ship for himself and name it Morrigan, then takes helm and set a course for Chevalier's ship, the Jeffort, which is being attacked by British ships. She sinks the enemy ships and rescues the Jeffort. At the Davenport homestead, Achilles Davenport, mentor of the colonial assassins, witnesses the arrival of Adewale. She overhears their conversation about Port au Prince earthquake and a precursor temple which is sited in the city. They ask that the Templar has stolen two precious artifacts useful to find the other temples, a manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. After training under each of his tutors, Lim, Hope Jensen, and Kasegwase, she sets out with Lim to pursue the high-ranking Templar Lawrence Washington, following a lead regarding the location of the stolen artifacts. She assassinates Washington at his estate, though the artifacts remain in the hands of Templars Samuel Smith and James Wardrop. First, she assassinates Smith and retrieves the precursor box. Later, he assassinates Wardrop and retrieves the manuscript. With both artifacts in hand, she travels to Sleepy Hollow, hoping that the scientist Benjamin Franklin will be able to activate the precursor box. With his experiment, Franklin successfully activates the box. The artifact projects a map revealing the location of several precursor sites, one of which she recognizes to be in Lisbon. With that, she is tasked with retrieving a piece of Eden located in the city. Although she managed to find a piece of Eden in Lisbon, the artifact disintegrates upon being removed from his pedestal, causing an earthquake that levels nearly the entire city, leaving thousands of people homeless or dead. Following the disaster in Lisbon, she goes to confront his mentor at Homestead, believing him to already know the true purpose of the temples, but sent away by his fellow assassins. Unwilling to let the assassins destroy another city, she sneaks into the manor to steal the manuscript, though he is discovered by Achilles. After the struggle with his mentor, she flees the homestead, with his former assassin allies in pursuit. Eventually, she reaches the dead end, coming to a stop atop a cliff overlooking the bay, with Lim holding she at gunpoint to prevent him from running away again. Walking towards the edge of the cliff, she is shot in the back before falling down and plunging into the bay. Having survived his ordeal, she is put under care of Barry and Cassidy Finnegan, whose late son is a temple agent. After several weeks of recover, he has handed their son's robes and returned his weapons, but no manuscript. Having learned of the gangs that plague New York, she takes down one of their headquarters, following which he becomes acquainted with Colonel George Monroe. Later, at Monroe's request, she rescues Christopher Gist from Hanny and reclaims his old ship, the Morrigan. Gist then assembles a new crew and volunteers to fill the position of first mate. Along with Monroe, she and Gist begin working to purge the region of assassin influence. Monroe, trusting she enough, reveals that he found a manuscript when he found she marooned and returns it to him. She discovers Monroe is in trouble in Fort William Henry, and they decide to come to his aid. He meets with Jack Weeks, who informs him that Monroe and his men are walking toward an Abenaki ambush. She safely escorts Monroe and his men through the ambush, but his presence is discovered by Kasegwase. He later meets with Templar allies, who inform him of Kasegwase's next attack and their plan to combat it. She also returned the manuscript to Monroe's hands, believing it to be safer with him. 
To gain support and sabotage Kasugwasa's plans, she saved Onega villagers and helped Monroe's troops. Having sailed to Albany, she and Jess found the city in turmoil, with Monroe's troops clashing against Kasugwasa's forces. She tracks down and eliminates Kasugwasa, but Monroe is assassinated by Lin, who managed to steal the manuscript and take it back to assassins. Following Monroe's death, she is formally inducted into the Templar Order by Grandmaster Hayson Kenway. Following his induction, she informs Hayson about the temples the assassin found and the consequences of disturbing them. Their conversation finishes. She sets sail for the North Atlantic, where he will meet with James Cook, a Royal Navy officer. They sail towards Louisburg and prevent French reinforcements from reaching there. She, Hayson, and Gist set a course for the river valley, tracking down Adewale. After a naval battle with the assassin, she and Hayson pursue Adewale inland. She assassinates Adewale while the latter is distracted by Hayson, though his death ultimately does little to hamper Achilles' progress. She and the Templars focus on taking on assassin-affiliated gangs that plague New York. She and the Weeks disguise themselves as gang members and rob a British fort setting the British army towards combating New York's gangs. With the British army on the Templar side, she sets out to locate Hope and assassinate her. She infiltrates the mansion's grounds, finding Hope and Lim in a warehouse. Spying on their meeting through the skylight, he sees Hope successfully replicating Franklin's experiment, giving them a new temple site. While in pursuit of Hope, she is poisoned by her. After a lengthy chase through New York, she managed to assassinate Hope and take the antidote he needed from her, depriving the gangs of their leader. She sets out to uncover the destination of Assassin's expedition. After obtaining Chevalier's maps, she consults Cook to find him. While tracking him in North Atlantic, they engage the Jeffort in naval combat and incapacitate her. She assassinates Chevalier, but learns he has only been a distraction giving Achilles and Lim time to reach the precursor site. With the destination of the assassin's expedition revealed, she and Hayson set out to prevent Lim and Achilles from finding and activate the Seismic Temple and the North Pole. At the heart of the temple, they found Lim and Achilles uncovering a piece of Aden. While Achilles admits that he was wrong about the artifact, Lim still condemns She for betraying the Brotherhood. After a brief struggle, Lim falls back onto the artifact, disturbing the temple and triggering an earthquake. She pursues Lim through the collapsing caverns, while Hayson follows Achilles to a clearing outside. She attacks Lim, but their struggle causes the ice platform they are on to break, sending both of them plumbing down onto the ice below. With the lot of his strength, Lim hands Shea the manuscript before succumbing to the wounds he has sustained from the fall. She then returns to the shore, where he finds Hayson about to kill Achilles and stop him, claiming that if he perishes, the assassins would blindly continue their search for the temples. Hayson agrees with sparing Achilles and makes to return to the Morrigan, before turning around and shooting Achilles in the leg, crippling him. With the colonial assassins destroyed and their search for the temples ended, Hayson tasks Shay with finding the precursor box that Chevalier has sent away. In 1776, Shay's search for the precursor box takes him to Paris, where he finds some criminals chasing Benjamin Franklin. She rescues Franklin and is able to gain access to the Palace of Versailles. He enters the palace and locates the assassin, Charles Dorian, who is in possession of the box, before discreetly assassinating Charles and taking the box from him.